Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parishes Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General of Asia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 16th April 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, Power Makes Noise. Our memory verse is taken from Joshua 6 verse 5, which says, And it shall come to pass. That when they make a, lo- a long blast with the ram's on, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. A text is taken from Joshua six fifteen to 21. It says, And it came to pass on the seventh day, that they rose early about the dawn of the day, and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only, only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priest blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout for the Lord that given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are daring to the Lord. Only Rahab the Lord shall live, and she and all that are with her in the house, because she eat the messengers that we sent. And ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accosting, lest ye make yourselves accursed, when ye take of the accosting, and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass when people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. So that the people went up into the city every man straight before him. And they took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox and sheep and ass with the edge of the sword. A passage says, many Christians don't pray aloud anymore. And this is one of the reasons we are seeing fewer demonstrations of power amongst us. During the first service I attended at RCCG, we were asked to shout hallelujah. And the fellow beside me shouted so loudly that I almost ran out of the church. Where there is power, there must be noise. The Concord, a plane that could take it from London to New York in about three hours, was grounded partly because people said it was it was noisy. With its powerful engine, it was bound to be noisy. These days, many Christians have to be cajoled to shout hallelujah. I remember many years ago when I was asked to preach during a Christmas carol at Asso Rock, and all the high and mighty were there. When I asked them to shout hallelujah, they shouted like sophisticated ladies and gentlemen, until I said, the next fellow to shout hallelujah is the only one who will see the new year. This time around, they really shouted, real Christians do not have to be threatened to praise my father. So our father and Lord is telling us uh, or bringing to our attention the fact that you know many Christians don't pray aloud anymore. Maybe it's due to uh, us being sophisticated maybe our position in society, or maybe it's a trend of the times. But, you know, many Christians do not pray aloud anymore. And um, it's trying to make us understand that it's one of the reasons why we are seeing fewer demonstrations of power. And it gave an illustration of the Concorde, which could fly from New York to London within three hours. It was a very fast jet. But it was grounded because it made noise, meaning that because the engine was powerful, it generated noise. And so is you know, likening that to also our prayer life. That you know, the more fervency we put into our prayer life, the more power we generate. We we cannot be gentle in all our prayers. If we are gentle in all our prayers, we don't generate the necessary power for uh many of the miracles, signs, and wonders that we see. It's not that it's the shouting necessarily, but sometimes it is required. And like in our Bible text, we saw that the children of Israel were told to shout at the wall of Jericho. So there are situations that we need to shout at. There are situations we need to raise our voice. There are situations we need to show some aggression in our prayers for those situations to be re- to be resolved. Our Father and Lord is saying many years ago, I was walking and praying within Redemption City in the middle of the night, hungry and thirsty for the power of God. I had been crying, Lord, I told you from the beginning that I don't want to be ordinary. I was serving you as much as I could when I was still lecturing at the university, making some money to do your work, but you pulled me out. Now you have to, now you have made me a general of Asia and I lack the power to do the work that must be done. 
Father, either empower me or take me home. As I prayed, the ground under my feet shook violently. There was an earthquake that was felt from as far as Ijebode. It was in the newspaper. An earthquake is not quiet. Noise is necessary for power. Stop trying not to be noisy. Don't hinder the move of God with your so-called sophistication. I am at a point in my life where I need other people to carry more fire than me so that when I'm leaving, I will know that I'm leaving commandos behind that will take the work of God further than I did. Stop forming, as the youth will say. When you are in the presence of God, be free to make a loud noise that will shut the devil out and let the power of God flow. So we have been told here that we should be expressive in our worship, in our prayers. Let's be expressive. Don't let's be super, super, super conservative. Don't let be, let us be too sophisticated. Don't let us be too elite for God. Let us express ourselves. Let us shout. Let us make noise. Let us praise God with everything that we have. It is necessary for the flow of God, for the flow of the anointing, for the flow of power. Don't let us forget in our Bible text, the children of Israel were commanded to shout at the wall of Jericho. And only after then, the walls fall down and they were able to invade that city. So like I said earlier, there are situations that need to be confronted with some aggression in our prayers. There are challenges you will face that it is not gentle prayers that will solve them. You need to put in some noise. You need to put in some shouting. You need to put in some aggression. And I pray that God will help us to stop forming in Jesus' name. Our action point says, shout a very loud hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God want to say thank you for your word that has come to us today. Lord, we ask that you give us that grace to be able to be expressive in your presence. In our prayers, help us to make noise, help us to shout when we ought to in the name of Jesus. Help us to express ourselves. Help us not to be too sophisticated for you and let your power flow in our lives and in our churches in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.